Good morning, my dear students. In this video, we have to discuss about the 12 marks question, that is section D question related to the retirement of a partner chapter. Let us discuss about the particular question related to the particular chapter. So here, what question is available? In this question, we have to prepare four accounts that is revaluation account, partner's capital account, bank account as well as the balance sheet of new firm after retirement of a particular person how the balance sheet will be there so here the balance sheet is given before retirement now we have to prepare the balance sheet after retirement of a particular person let us discuss about the what the things they are given so here Raju, Raghav and Ram, these three persons are the old partners, existing partners in the partnership firm. Sharing profit and losses in the ratio of ratio they are given 3 by 2, 2 is to 1, 3 by 6, 2 by 6, 1 by 6 they are given. So, each of this respectively, their balance sheet as on 31st March 2020 was as follows. So, balance sheet they are given. Apart from this balance sheet, already we have to discuss in the chapter admission of a partner, same content, same concept will be there, but few adjustments will be changes. So here, so liabilities are given, assets are also given. So liabilities, few liabilities come to the new balance sheet, few liabilities come to the account only. So here, salary, credit task, it is no adjustment for this, it is always come to the new balance sheet. Bills payable, so it is come to the new balance sheet is a liability. General reserve, it comes to the capital account which belongs to the partners only. So, partners capital account, which side means right hand side, that is credit side of the partners capital account. We have to distribute this value between all the partners including retiring partner, which are already the retiring partner itself have a right to share the reserve fund also. Capital C is there. How much increases means 30 minus 
7,000 you will get 3,000 rupees as a appreciation. Furniture rupees 5,800. The value of furniture is here 6,500, but here 5,800. The value is what will happen? Depreciation. Decrease with the depreciation. How much the value will be decreased? The difference among what we have against 700 rupees that is going to be decreased. We have to regard in the revaluation account. Machinery rupees 9,000. The value of machinery is 10,000. But the value of adjustment, the value is given 9,000. That is the value will be reduced. Reduces is nothing but the expenses. Expenses are this come to the revaluation account. It will come to the debit side of revaluation account as a depreciation. And finally, stock rupees 7,000. They are given the value of service 5,000. But in the adjustment, they are given rupees 7,000. That means it increases. How much? That we have to find out. So increase is nothing but income. It is down to the revaluation account. Credit side, we have to go to the increasing income to the company. So first adjustment totally belongs to the revaluation account. Why it is belongs to revaluation account only means because here both incomes and expenses are there. Incomes comes to the credit side of revaluation account. Expenses come to the debit side of the revaluation account. The difference value what we have to do that will be considered as the income as well as the expenses. Let's come to the adjustment number two. Rupees 510 is paid, is provided for doubtful debt. So rupees 510, 510 should be provided for the doubtful debt. So doubtful debt is nothing but expenses. So expenses will be in support of which account is revaluation account. Which side it will come with? So debit side of revaluation account. First adjustment number two, debit side of revaluation account. Again, we have to write the balance sheet on this. Minus, we should be there. Next, let's come to the adjustment number three. It's very, very important adjustment. The goodwill of the firm is valued at rupees 24,000. So, totally, these three persons, Ram, Robert, as well as Rahim, sorry, Raghu, Raghav, and Ram, who are maybe, who run the business in previously, they create a good name and reputation in the market. For that, they will fix a value of rupees 24,000. If this kind of sufficient information is given, means this value we have to distribute it among all partners. But here they are given some critical adjustment. Here they are given create wrong share of goodwill and return of immediately. Out of this 24,000, we have to create what is the share of wrong. So, one sixth share, so 24,000 into 1 by 6 we will make this, we will get the share of wrong. That share will be settled by remaining partners. Who is going to be settled? Here, Raghu, Raghu, and Raghu, three members are partners are there. If this person is going to retire, means for him, these two partners has to be settled. So, this adjustment number two, partners capital account. Inside debit and credit, both the sets we have to write. Partners capital account, debit and credit side, two places we have to record it if that is sufficient. Let's come to the adjustment number four. The amount due to wrong is settled by check. So, adjustment number four, bank account. First, we have to transfer bank account. Later, we have to do the loan attention. Like this manner, we have to prepare the ledger accounts of so Raghu Rathav and Ram's company's final account. So in this account for this we have to prepare two accounts which are those. One is revaluation account, second one is part of capital account, third one is bank account and fourth one is the new balance sheet we have to prepare. So according to this criteria we have to prepare the three accounts. So revaluation account is quite common but from part of capital account onwards it is going to be changed. It is going to be totally totally changed. Let's move to the particular solution related to the this question only. So, let's come to the solution preparation of revaluation account. Draw the columns for revaluation account and make a note. So, revaluation account always depends upon the adjustments only. According to that adjustments only, we have to prepare the revaluation account. Later, it will be linked to the part of the Again, we need to the balance sheet. Let's come to the 
revaluation account. Drawing on the revaluation. Revaluation account. Particular sum of particular sum of this is the terms for revaluation amount. Total revaluation amount is depending upon the adjustment. Out of four adjustments, two adjustments will come to the revaluation account, one adjustment will come to the partner's capital account, remaining one adjustment will come to the bank account only. Now, comes to the adjustment number one. So, here, wrong returns from the business, the assets and liabilities are revalued, they are given. So revalue all the information they are given one by one. Buildings rupees thirty thousand. The value of buildings which is available in our question is twenty seven thousand. But the value of the buildings which is available in our adjustment is rupees thirty thousand. Just assume that the value will be increase or decrease. So value will be increases. Increases is nothing but it is a income. Incomes will come to the equity side of revaluation. One will be heading by buildings. Thirty thousand minus twenty seven thousand get three thousand rupees as a income. So three thousand rupees is the building's value in rupees. First mark is completed. Second point: furniture rupees five thousand eight hundred will be there. The value of furniture which is available in the balance sheet is the value of furniture six thousand five hundred. But in the adjustment, they are given five thousand eight hundred. So it is reduces. Reduces is nothing but depreciation. Depreciation is the expenses. Expenses are always come to the debit side only. To depreciation of furniture. Here six thousand five hundred rupees. The value of furniture which is available in the balance sheet minus. Five thousand eight hundred is the value of furniture which is available in the adjustment. The difference is seven thousand rupees. Seven thousand rupees is the depreciation. So second adjustment is also complete. Let's go to the third adjustment. Machinery rupees nine thousand. They are given. The value of machinery which is available in the question in the balance sheet that is the asset side they are given. The value is ten thousand. But in the adjustment, the value of machinery is rupees nine thousand. So we have to assume that the value of machinery is also decreases. Decreases is nothing but it will consider as expenses. It will come to the revaluation on the debit side to depreciation of which value of machinery is ten thousand. So the value of machinery is ten thousand, which is available in our question minus nine thousand. And also, stock rupees seven thousand they are given. The value of stock is available in the balance sheet is rupees five thousand. But in the adjustment, the value of stock is given rupees seven thousand. So the value of stock is also increases. Increases is nothing but income. Income is always in the credit side of the revaluation account. So we will write by stock difference is seven thousand minus five thousand. We will get the reference is two thousand rupees that we will consider as a reference of stock. Next adjustment number one is completed. Let's come to the adjustment number two. Rupees five hundred and ten is provided for doubtful debts. They are given. Debts is nothing but expenses. Income and expenses are will be dealt by which account? Revaluation account. Revaluation on this side we have to get expenses come to the left hand side. Income come. The right hand side. So we will write directly two provision provisions. Rupees five hundred ten. Adjustment number two is completed. 
Adjust the number three goodwill. This belongs to partners. We are preparing income and expenses amount. No need to consider. Amount settled. Settlement is also will not come. Settled will come to the bank account as well as the cash account. No, it's time to close the revaluation account. So out of four adjustment, first two adjustment will come to the revaluation account. Third adjustment will come to the partners capital account. Fourth account adjustment will come to the bank account. By clubbing these four values, we have to get a uh, new balance sheet. Now it's time to close the revaluation account. How to close me? By giving the gap of three to four lines. After writing all the adjustment, we will do a gap of three to four lines. Then later we have to close the revaluation account. Before closing the just we have to assume inside we have a yes value. Left hand side as well as the right hand side. So here the value will always be to the more than the left hand side, right hand side only there is spread inside. Though we have to expect that we will get a profit only. So total of the right hand side is 5,000. Same value will be transferred to the left hand side that is the right side also 5,000. Out of 5,000, detect these three values, you will get one value. So out of that, we have to detect 5,000 minus 700 minus 1,000 minus 510 rupees. So totally, we have to detect this three value, you will get 2,709 rupees we have to get. So we will get a new profit transfer. So, credit side also. 
debit and credit compulsory we have to write if you won't write debit and credit of particular account then definitely they will deduct marks in the annual examination so please i saw this request that's why we have to write the preparing the account we will draw the columns neatly clearly we have to complete all the conditions what the account is required so first of all we have to get a profit we have to distribute it from the one three ninety five second person nine thirty and third quarter four hundred and sixty five rupees he has to get now while we have to prepare the partner's capital account first we have follow some steps step number one first we have to file transfer the opening balances of the partner's capital account step number two any reserve or any profits and distributed profit and losses will be there that we have to distribute it step number three we have to settle the rebalancing of profit or losses step number four we will move to the adjustment if any withdrawals is there is then also we have to write and finally we complete the close complete to close the partner's capital account let's come to the step number one opening balance always opening balance come to the right hand side why we put it up to the right hand side because in the previous balance sheet we have an opening values in our left hand side of the balance sheet that is liability side so we transfer to the next account we will transfer to the opposite side we will write by balance brought down balance brought down capital balances which is available in the portion in the old balance sheet that is 30000 20000 10000 first partner will get 30000 Second partner will get twenty thousand, and third partner will get rupees ten thousand. So this is the opening balances which is available in the old balance sheet. In the admission of a partner, also we will prepare like this manner. But they we won't consider the capital of the new partner. We will write separately. But in the retirement, no one is coming. Someone is exiting from the business. Though what the value will be available in the old balance sheet, same balance we have. Particular account step number one. Step number two. In that balance sheet, we have one value, one reserve is there that is not distributed that belongs to all the partner. So that value we have to distribute it between the partners. So reserve is available in the right hand side. Left hand side. Now we pass to the credit side by reserve fund. The value of reserve fund is twelve thousand. Into three is to two is to one twelve thousand rupees into three is to two is to one. So for this value, first partner will get six thousand rupees, second partner will get four thousand rupees, third partner will get two thousand rupees. Am I right? This is the value we have to get the twelve thousand rupees only. So from the balance sheet, we have to transfer undistributed value that is. Profit and the reserve fund. Let's we have to move to the so one more adjustment we will come to the partners capital account only. So here adjustment. So balance sheet calculation is made. When it comes to the adjustments, so in that adjustment, adjustment number one incomes and expenses it won't come. Number two that belongs to total expenses it also won't consider. Number three goodwill they are given. Goodwill of the firm value that is twenty four thousand they are given. So if the up to twenty four thousand information is given, this we will have a right to distribute all the partners. But he is extending the adjustment. What he is going to extend it? But create wrong share of goodwill. So here whose partner is going to retire? His goodwill we have to create it. How much he has to get? So first we have to transfer the all the transactions here. Let's come to the adjustment number three. So they are given goodwill of the firm is value of rupees twenty four thousand. Out of that, create the retiring partner share of goodwill and the return of immediately they are given. So first we have to create the retiring partner share. That share will be kept by the remaining continuing partner. So that we have to write here by goodwill. Goodwill. So the value of goodwill is twenty four thousand rupees, which is available in the adjustment number three. The new partner, sorry, retiring partner share is one sixth share. So we have to get the exact share of the person is four thousand rupees. First we have to create twenty four thousand. If you one by six, you will get four thousand rupees. 
that 4000 has been second by remaining partners to would be written off. So, 4000 rupees, how it is going to be written off? According to the gain ratio of remaining partner, the ratio is 3 is to 2, they are given. According to that, you have to distribute it. 3 is to 2, 3 by 5, 2 by 5. First partner will get 2400 rupees. Second partner will get 1600 rupees. So, in that, in their capital one, the partners has to be sacrificed. The partners has to be given this value to the new partner, to the retiring partner. So, this is about the adjustment number 3. Number 4, it is come to the bank. Let's come to the previous amount, realization amount. In this account, the difference we have to in our debit side. Now we have to transfer to the credit side of the next account. We will write it in by revaluation amount. Revaluation amount in property of profit. Profit. So, 
Let's come to the opening of the third account that is bank account. So we should draw the terms for bank account as we should the particular sum on particular sum on. So debit credit is compulsory. So already I says that, so in the bank account only, we have to discuss about the settlement transactions. So in the bank account, opening balance, where it is available here, which is available in the ocean itself, cash and bank under the asset side of the old balance sheet, the right hand side, that what we have to get, it is transferred to the left hand side to balance brought down. The value is given 33,500. 33,500. So, in our bank, we have a balance of this 33,500 rupees which is available in our bank account. Out of that value, we have to settle to round by giving a check. Check is a good bank account. So, in the previous round, we have to put somewhere in bank account that amount we have to transfer. Suppose it is come to the right hand side, this it is come to the left hand side of the next account. Now it is in our left hand side, now it is come to the right hand side of another account. So whose account the difference we have to write wrong also this will account this will be where it is available that belongs to the partner's capital account we will write by wrong capital account. How much of the check we are given? 16,465 rupees check we are given. Out of 33,500 we are giving a check of rupees 16,465 rupees. Now, how much of balance which is available in our bank account to make the total? 33,500. Same value 33,500. 33,500 minus 16,500 will get 17,085 rupees. 17,000. 17,000. 35 is the value to by balance carry down. So this value we have to find out. What the balance carry down is the same balance we have to pass by the brought down to balance brought down. 17,035 rupees. Now we have to close, complete it. The third account also. Next, we have to move to the preparation of the first and more account that will be called the new balance sheet of the new firms. So, new firms balance sheet we have to prepare. Next, we have to draw the balance for new balance sheet.
the value of depreciation is 1000, 10 minus 1 you will get 9000 rupees is the present value of machinery after bounds retirement. And last the transaction is buildings. The value of buildings is 27,000. For this, there is adjustment that is appreciation and appreciation. Value is 3000. 27 plus 3 will get 30,000. All the formalities of the board value should be come here. Let's come to the adjustment. Each adjustment should be shown recorded twice. Then only we will get the balance of balance sheet. Now, let's come to adjustment number 1. The assets and liabilities are revalued. Buildings, first they are given. Once we recorded the credit side of revaluation amount, second year we will add it to the balance sheet. Second point, furniture. Once we recorded debit side of the balance sheet and the, sorry, revaluation amount and it should be deducted from the balance sheet. Twice also completed. And machinery depreciated, they are given. 9000, they are given. So 10,000 minus depreciation, 1000. Once we recorded the debit side of revaluation amount, second time we should deduct it from the balance sheet. Completed. And just point number four, stock is appreciated, they are given revaluation amount credit side once we recorded and at second time we have to record it into the balance sheet. We will add it to the stock, we will get 7000 as a stock. First adjustment, twice completed. Let's come to the second adjustment. Second adjustment says that rupees 510 as a provision for doubtful debts. Once we should consider as a expenses and the revaluation amount debit side, we have to go directly. Again, we should deduct it from the data of 510 and the value of data is 5490 instead of 6000. Twice it is completed. Adjustment number 3. Goodwill of the firm rupees 24,000. Create wrong share of goodwill that is 1 by 6 we have to create it. And return of immediately we have to return of also. So adjustment number 3. Twice we record it. Adjustment number 4, settlement of dues is set up by check. So first we have to find out the check. Settlement by difference value, we will pay it to the check and remain we have to transfer to the bank account. Twice also completed. Now it's time to close the balance sheet. We will get the equal balance of both the sides. So what is the total of the liability side means? Sign like thousand. Thank you.